our next group of projections will be the facial bones. So we're looking at all of our facial bones uh, together. Our projections will be the lateral, so we'll do both sides of the lateral, the waters, and then the PA axial caldwell. So make sure you pay attention um, to your PowerPoint for the specifications, for the technical factors, and um, your specific centering there. Okay, so Melanie, if you can turn and put your left side, we're gonna say her left side is hurting. So we're gonna put her left side against the board. And again, we wanna get her, sh her shoulders out of the way. Our centering is to the zygoma or cheekbone. So we're gonna move her back. So we just, well, we're gonna slide her stool back just a tad and we're gonna center and we just want to see the facial bones. I'm gonna move the skull bucky down, not the skull. With our lateral, we want to see that the IPL, our interpupillary line, is perpendicular to the image receptor. It's important to line that up to prevent any rotation or tilt. will be our waters and this waters is the same for the skull and the sinuses so this is where we're kind of lifting our chin up above water our centering is to the acanthion so I'm going to move my bucky up right under the nose and to lift our tube to make sure that we're lined up here so our central rays again to the acanthion so our OML forms a 37 degree angle with the image receptor. Our last projection with the facial bones is the PA axial caldwell. So we'll put our nose and forehead on the board. It's the same angle, 15 degree called at angle. To exit at the nasion. So the easiest way is to line up. Um, watch your head, Melanie, maybe lift it off just a tad. So I'm going to move the bucky down at the bridge of the nose. And then we're going to line up our laser uh, with our centering point. And we want to make sure there's no rotation or tilt and that our central ray is down the mid-sagittal plane. Our next part of the anatomy is our nasal bones. So we'll do the right and left, right and left lateral and then the water. So these are, those are the three positions that you'll need to know for the nasal bones. So we will have you have the patient turn their shoulders and you'll kind of get in a position for the lateral, but you're just focusing on the nasal bones. So I'm gonna move you back. The centering is a half an inch below the nasion. Stay right there, and Melanie, and I'm just going to line up your tube and bucky here. So we're going to always do both sides for comparison, and then we can collimate a good bit. So we are just focusing on the nasal bones here. So this is our left side, so we want to do both sides for comparison. So Melanie, if you will turn around to the other side, perfect. And so we'll put your, move your shoulder, put your head. There we go. And I'm going to kind of scoot you back just a tad. So you see where your laser is, and that's going to be in half an inch below the nasion. There we go. You want to make sure that the patient is straight as possible. Okay, so we have 
the right and left. So now we're going to go to the waters, and the waters is going to be the same. Okay, so we'll have you lift your chin. So the OML forms a 37 degree angle with the image receptor. We're going to move our bucky up to the bottom of the nose, line our tube up to match. and collimate as much as possible. Make sure there's no rotation or tilt. Our next group of facial bones projections is our zygomatic arches. So the first one is the SMV, then the tangential, and then the AP axial. So the first one is the SMV, and an SMV is an SMV, it doesn't change. So the skull, the sinuses, and the facial bones, so we're going to do another SMV as part of our routine. So they have the patient extend their head back, so again the IOML is parallel to the image receptor, and we want to line up, so the CR is an inch and a half below the mandibular symphysis. Make sure you're down the mid-sagittal plane. There's no rotation or tilt. And Melanie, I'm gonna hold your head and make sure we line up our tube and bucky. So our next projection we will have the patient, you're in an SMV projection. This is the tangential, but you start out with the patient in an SMV. So, you're gonna have the patient rotate 15 degrees towards the side of interest and tilt 15 degrees towards the side of interest to skim the zygomatic arch of interest, which is on the left side. So, we're gonna have her in the SMV position, if you can turn your head to the left slightly and tilt it back towards the board slightly. So we are going to go through, you will skim, skim the ramus to the zygomatic arch of interest. Put the back of your head on the board. So this projection is the AP axial modified town. It's the same angle as the AP axial town, 30 degrees caudad, but the central ray is different. So you'll make sure that your OML is perpendicular to the board. Have the patient tuck their chin as much as possible. There we go, perfect but you're going to angle 30 degrees, but the centering point is going to be an inch above the nasion. So that's why it's called the AP axial modified town, because your centering is a little different. You'll make sure your CR is down the mid-sagittal plane and that you're not rotated or tilted. So the anatomy demonstrated, your central ray will go through the mid arches to the level of the gonian. group of projections is for the mandible. So we'll start with the AP axial town and then we'll position for the PA. The anatomy demonstrated for the mandible is the condyloid processes of the mandible and the temporomandibular fossa. This projection is the AP axial town for the mandible. The patient's head will be against the bucky the angle will be a little bit different than the normal AP axial town. It's going to be 35 degrees to the OML. So if the patient can tuck their chin so that the OML, the orbital meatal line, 
is perpendicular to the image receptor, the angle is going to be 35. The patient cannot tuck their chin, so then the infraorbital meatal line, or the IOML, would be perpendicular to the IR. Then your angle is going to be 42. Your centering point is going to be one inch above the glabella. And of course you'll collimate and make sure that there's no rotation or tilt. So our next projection, we'll take the angle off. It's just going to be a basic PA. So if you'll have your patient turn around and then uh, put their nose and forehead against the board. So our centering for the PA is at the junction of the lips, the LML. So we're already lined up there and we're gonna line up our tube and our bucky. <laughs> 